Peace world. Welcome, 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 or welcome back. I'm Goddess Dawn. It is Wednesday, December 16th, 2020. And I am back with a, another Tasha K tarot video. I actually did um, a tarot reading on Tasha K. I posted it this morning, but I did another reading just to warm up, but I decided to post that one instead. But I'm going to post this one also because I, it gives different insights and there's more to the story. And I just thought, you know, I did the work. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. It's a precursor because this one was done prior to the one that I posted already. So enjoy. Oh, and of course, like, share, comment. Let me know your thoughts and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you as always. Peace. And I'm here with a quick tarot card read for Tasha K. Uh, I happen to be listening to a YouTube video. It was um, on Sweet Ma's channel. And they were going back and forth with a caller about whether or not Tasha K is the queen of YouTube or the Beyonce of YouTube as the caller stated. Everybody else disagreed. I actually disagree also. Um, but it was an interesting conversation and I thought I would pull some cards. I've stepped away from pulling cards on my channel. I want to get back to basics when it comes to my tarot reads on the channel. And it's been a minute, so I went ahead and did the pull before I recorded just to kind of warm up, I guess you could say. But it was a good read, so I thought I would just bring it as is. I did a traditional Celtic cross spread. And I'm just going to read you the cards and how everything played out at this point. This is not the typical way I do my readings if you've watched them in the past, but we're going to do it this way today. So the first card um, in the spread is the Two of Cups. And this, this card represents a significant relationship, marriage, um, partnership. And with regards to Tasha K, this is the first card in the spread representing the overall situation. This represents her marriage. This tells me... Um, that her husband or partner is a big part of her operation. Um, and so it starts with that. All right. The next card in the spread is the transformation card. And this card always represents life after death, pretty much. Um, transformation is a new beginning. Um, you created something from nothing or maybe created something from... Um, some type of a bad situation you're transforming out of that so it says to me after coming from the two of cups that their marriage or their union birthed this new life that they have okay so they did this together and let's move on well okay so let me go back the second card in the spread represents what is influencing the situation for better or for worse. And what's influencing the situation around Tasha K is her channel, her, her, her brand. So the next card in the pool is the six of staves. Third card in the spread, it represents the foundation of the issue. Foundation of the issue is her success. The the six of staves represents victory, winning, success, like I said. So, you know, she's caught up in a lot of drama. And a lot of it, I think, is self-made drama. Like, she could have probably prevented a lot of stuff by just doing things differently and moving a little differently. So, card number four in the spread is represents the past or influence that is passing away. And... That card is the Four of Pentacles, and this card represents someone who is working on things, but yet not quite where they want. So they're holding like their money and their resources close to the best. It doesn't represent poverty. It does represent struggle. You know, you're not really um, trying to spend a lot. You're watching your money, keeping her money close to her. She's now moved out of that. This is the past. All right, uh, card number five in this spread is the five of staves. And this card represents 
uh, what is on the current's mind, which is what is on her mind right now. This card represents conflict, conflict with other women. In the card, it represents women. It could just also represent feminine energy because men who are fighting on YouTube do have feminine energy. You can't actually get around that, right? So this card is what's on her mind right now is all the conflict that's going on around her. All right. So moving on. So it's a 10 card spread. We're on card number six and card number six is the power card. And the power card represents obviously power. It represents the fact that the person in question here is aware of their power. They're using their power to get the things that they want done. And, um, you know, are just very aware of their power and using it to their benefit. This number, card number six in this Celtic um, cross spread represents where the person is heading and what the person is doing, like what, what's, their, what's their current play. And right now it's power moves. She's trying to do her thing behind the scenes as she's probably always done to make things work for herself. Um, there's a lot of fakery going on. I saw her do with some fake beef with some lady that I had never heard of. Apparently she's a popular lady, Auntie Hammy or something. Anyway, um, doing those types of things, she's, you know, just pulling all of her connects and her cards and trying to win, basically. So that's where she's at right now. She's all in the mix. Card number seven out of this 10 card spread is the strength card. The strength card represents obviously strength, but it also represents um, Tasha K and how she sees the situation. And I think she sees herself in a strong position and she is also trying to use her strength and her power to make things more, put her in a better light and put herself in a better position. I don't think that she is wanting to keep up the conflict at this point. I believe she's working to settle things down and get back um, on top. So, but I do feel this card representing strength being the card of how she sees the situation is saying that she sees herself in a strong position. All right. Card number eight is the five of swords. All right. The five of swords in this spread represents how others view Tasha K in the situation. And it, you know, the, the card five of swords represents someone who is ready for battle, someone who has all the weaponry that they need. If you see the sword, it's down in a downward position. She's ready and able. She's actually on the receiving end, it looks like. So these are how others and probably her winos see the situation as that she's maybe even a victim. This isn't a victim card, but this is someone who is fighting a lot. She has a lot of weapons around her and she's ready and able and willing to go tooth and nail with whoever comes her way. Okay, card number nine out of this 10 card spread is the magic card representing your inner awareness and the growing magic within yourself. This um, card number nine in this spread represents the hopes and fears of Tasha K. And being that it's the magic card, I would say that her hopes and fears have to do with, um, you know, being able to move beyond perceived limitations, to be able to pull a, I guess, rabbit out of a hat, in my opinion, to resolve the current issues and make everything work in her favor. Yeah, this um, card does represent her hope to transform and continue to grow as opposed to go down from where she is. She wants to grow beyond what other people um, perceive her limitations to be. And her fears are that she will not do so. Uh, the last card in the spread, card number 10, is the Justice card. This card in the spread represents the possible outcome if things continue on the path now taken. This card is the justice card and this card represents being fair to yourself and being fair to other people. So I think the possible outcome if she's going on the way things are going is that justice will be served and 
there will be karma dished out at the end of the day. And hopefully um, she's been doing a lot of things that we haven't seen that are going to work in her favor. Because from what we have seen on camera from her is not good. And that means that, you know, the things that we're seeing now, which is her numbers going down and she's doing desperate things in order to stay relevant, um, is that it's going to keep going that way. Um, justice will be served. So that's going to do it. And thank you for your time and attention. As always, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know your thoughts. And until next time, peace.